Good morning, everyone. Uh, till other participants are joining, we can start with as we have two sessions. First one is uh, time management, second session. And after that, uh, you can use same link for collaborative learning as well. Okay. Uh, let me hide my video. Okay. Uh, so first thing you know uh, time management one we already did and there are a lot of activities you have to do you must do those activities so welcome to time management second session you all know that the key is not in spending your time but in investing time okay so as i always tell you you may delay but time will not okay so with that, uh, I'm going to welcome you all to the time management second session. That this is the last session, and also uh, and also uh, yeah, today uh, we are going to cover uh, this topic. Okay, uh, so today basically we are planning planning to do interactive sessions. You all know that we have you need to do these activities especially in time management module as individual activities okay so today actually i'm planning to do a uh, more on time management for personal development uh, so we will do a lot of activities uh, time find activity then we will discuss what you have to manage and your goals and objectives then uh, you how do you plan those things then uh, we'll do one prioritized exercise prioritization exercise then uh, create your own study plan how to create your own study plan then uh, we will create we will uh, calculate your credits and hours you need to spend for uh, you need to allocate per day when you register for different different credit level then uh, how to act and achieve then finally we'll discuss how to evaluate and improve your techniques okay uh, okay, as usual, first let's uh, let me begin with one interactive session, one activity. Uh, this is called uh, time find. Okay, I think we have done this in different manner. What you what you need here? So to do this activity, you need just a paper and pen. Okay, so if you can divide your uh, so remember that again, I'm telling all of us, you, you all must do this activity individually. So you have to divide your a piece of paper. If you take piece of paper, then, uh, yeah, uh, then uh, you can divide this piece of paper into 22 squares that represent uh, 24 hours. So if I show you kind of this, Example. So, likewise, uh, think about one name. If I start with one name, so till twenty, uh, tw till midnight. Okay. So there should be uh, twenty-four squares. Okay. What you want to do here is you need to recall your activity particular day and list down, uh, list down all the activities with particular time. Okay. Now we are going to find time. Uh, we call this activity as a time finder. Um, so each class represent one hour. Okay. Uh, we will uh, give you 10 minutes to complete this activity. Write down. So this is the activity. List down all the activities you do throughout the day and indicate the required time for each activity. And present how you spend your time throughout the day like this uh, squares. Okay. Like a calendar square. 24 squares representing 24 hours. Okay, so uh, you can divide your piece of paper into 24 squares and represent what are the activities you are going to you did and uh, particular you need to indicate the required time as well. I hope you all clearly understand that. Uh, if you don't understand, I can repeat it again. Uh, so others who are joining, uh, so I keep this slide uh, visible. So you can uh, take, yeah, less than yeah, five minutes, uh, five minutes, five to 10 minutes and uh, list down all the activities you did and uh, 
especially indicate the required time as well. And if you check the description, uh, so Cesar sir has uh, mentioned there, you can use the same link. You can stay, keep remaining in this link after uh, time management session. You can join using this link, uh, collaborative learning as well, okay? So take five minutes and uh, once you finish, please uh, use raise hand option. Okay, guys, I will repeat the task. This is actually time management uh, fourth task. Uh, you have to list down all the activities you do, you did throughout the day. So if you uh, recall your yesterday, uh, then uh, indicate the required time for each activity as well. And you have to present uh, uh, how you spend your time throughout the day, like uh, squares, 24 squares represent 24 hours per day. We'll discuss uh, different activities. Actually, we time management per session. We did uh, some uh, productive and unproductive thing that's similar to this, but uh, this is different. Uh, we call this activity as time finder. We are we, we are we are going to find time uh, to our productive thing. Okay, productive works. Okay. Uh, so any volunteers, if you want to show your answers, I can give you a chance. So I can give you one or two members. Can you represent your uh, activities, what you did throughout the day? So any volunteers who wants to show their answers? Okay, uh, I think uh, now time is enough. So as you all know, we have to do this activity. 
even though you are delayed time is not okay so uh, so anyone wants to share your answer then i can show you one sample actually sample uh, with graphically actually here you need to show that uh, in this time find activity you need to show a uh, list down all the activities or graphically represent how do you spend uh, your time throughout the day with activity okay this is the this is your squares 24 squares then uh, let's we can divide into two parts here as uh, if you are doing full time study if you are, do, if you are full time study and uh, and if you are working individual so we can divide into two main part okay so i will show you one uh, so as we have only one hour so i will show you uh, i will start with one uh, one name so i have 8 hours sleeping if i am a full time i am doing full time study uh, then uh, you can see from 11 pm to uh, 6 am so that is 8 hours then uh, 3 hours for breakfast lunch and dinner uh, or snack okay then um, your mobile phone time i think uh, 3 hours not only your calling time but searching uh, facebook time uh, whatsapp so all for mobile using mobile phone time three hours then uh, study you can see here two hours from nine nine then uh, likewise you, you can see you are studying uh, allocated hours are four hours then two hours for traveling then uh, yeah it's two hours your tv time so this is just a sample uh, where you spend your time Maybe you have different activities and uh, with different time. Uh, okay, then uh, this is just uh, as we can say, uh, some one sample activities. Okay, then uh, let's discuss another activity. Um, same thing, but uh, here you can see only sleep in six hours. If you remember your pie chart, you can uh, graphically represent in this manner as well. So you have call time one hour and uh, same hours for your uh, eating time. That means uh, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. So that, so then uh, working. If you are worker, uh, if you are working individual, individual at, at least nine hours you need to work. Maybe eight hours or less than or more than that. But so average nine hours for working. Then uh, traveling maybe it is more than one hour. Okay, then uh, here indicate only one hour. Then uh, family time, two hours. And also uh, here, at least you need to find two hours for your study. Because you know, uh, if you register for minimum credit, you need to allocate at least two hours for your studies. We'll do more calculation after this. Uh, so today's session and we can you can decide how many hours you need to spend for your registered credit, okay? For particular academic year. Then, uh, actually here, we just represent, now we are going to manage. So what you have to manage is, so first thing, what are you going to do with this time? The time you have, so all these activities represent, we can say uh, social interactions, then uh, studying, working, playing, going to party or kind of different activities. So these all the activities we need to do with particular. So we have what everyone has 24 hours per day. Okay. So what is the main important thing? As I always mention, so what are your basic needs? So according to this uh, pandemic situation, so basic needs, we can say good physical health and good mental health okay so other needs i know you basic needs you can cover okay uh, then uh, with that keep that keep this mind and uh, we'll go to the goals and objectives actually what are your goals and objectives what do you mean by goals and objectives so goals are general guidelines okay uh, its purpose towards which an endeavor is directed okay that means the guidelines that explain what you want to achieve in your community. 
so unlike goals objectives are specific measurable and have a defined completion date okay those that's the main difference between uh, goals and objectives if i say one example okay i want so if if i i want to achieve success in the field of genetic research and do what no one has ever done so that is my goal so i want to do i want to uh, build new thing as an engineer i want to design i want to solve um, problem uh, what no one has ever done okay so so that is my goal then uh, related to that objectives i want to complete my thesis on genetic research by the end of this month so that is specific i have deadline so that is my objective so likewise now you are going to register for now you are registered already if you course start at to yourself course now uh, then after this session you will register for your uh, first semester first year academic year courses okay maybe you, you are following civil engineering software engineering or computer engineering electrical uh, electronic engineering mechanical engineering mechatronics engineering, it doesn't matter so you need to set your goals and your objectives so think about what are your goals and objectives okay remember that when you set goal you need to realistic be realistic when you are setting your goal and objectives you need to consider your physical and mental health mental capacity and economical capacity as well so what do you think uh, can anyone say uh, what is your goal and your objectives if you want to share your idea you can raise hand you can use raise hand option uh, so what do you think so what is your goal and objectives do you have goal and objectives we have more than 100 yeah 140 participants so if someone asks you so what is your goal then how do you answer so if i ask uh, from aruna shant so what is your goal from a participant list uh, so what is your goal and what what are your objectives oh what are your goals and what are your objectives aruna so you are not like to share with us uh then any any volunteers any vol volunteers so you are not set to a goal still you are not set to a goal that means so if i ask in a, yeah in another one ashan so what is your goal then i will ask another one rashmi rashmi kavisha so what is your goal i think you may i i show you uh, yeah yes asha yes sir yes what yes. is your, yeah uh, can you hear me yes we can hear you can you explain what is what are your goals and objectives uh, my goal is uh, i want to be a software engineer great then uh, so can you uh, divide your that's uh, explain your objectives mm. yeah uh, okay ashan thank you very much then ishan what is uh, so what are your goals and objectives one is uh, my goal is uh, become a chartered engineer ah, very good so uh, Uh, so i have to uh, complete uh, few objective first of all i have to complete my uh, degree then get icl and then follow the charter yeah so you need to have icl member uh, icl member uh, to follow that so very good then uh, so thank you ashan and uh, Yeah, Ishan. Thank you very much. Uh, then, uh, 
let's go back to so com your common goals we you may, may maybe uh, so to get a bachelor of technology honors degree maybe civil engineering maybe computer engineering maybe software engineering uh, maybe mechatronic so it's it doesn't matter uh, what is your stream or field uh, so that may be your objective actually to get your bachelor degree and to be an engineer that that is goal so you can uh, discuss this more and if you want to start your own business that may be your goal okay so again be realistic when you set your goal you need to consider your physical mental and economical capacity when you are setting your goals and objectives okay then uh, first thing you need to clearly identify what are your goals not only uh, this area of your life goals you may have different goals okay for study purpose and your life goal maybe maybe you have special goals okay so that there may be different goals and different objectives so with that first set your goals and objectives then after that you can do planning okay so what is plan uh, there are uh, without you know all that without doing you can't get anything okay so main thing is doing okay so plan so we have plan we need to plan if you have to set your objectives and goals then we need to plan accordingly okay so with that we have a plan we can divide long term plan short term plans and immediate actions uh, if we take a uh, your objective you are, you are you are now you are registered for this course then uh, to get good results in your final exam that is your long term plan if you take one particular academic year so get higher grade a plus o a so that is your uh, uh that is your main uh, maybe your long term plan for one academic year okay uh, then uh, short term plans so you all know that to get a higher grade you need to get higher eligibility mark so that so that you need to get good marks in your continuous assessment test assignments mini projects likewise okay then uh, online quizzes so that marks you need to uh, that is your short term plan then immediate actions you need to in order to do that you need to attend four day schools and you need to read course materials and referring to library books and discuss subject matters and uh, go through lms and uh, actively participate those activities okay then uh, you have to decide what are your long term short term plans and immediate actions so that is up to you you need to decide after you set your goals and objectives so planning process okay uh, then when we do planning after that we need to prioritize okay as you all know we have uh, four types of uh, activities work so maybe urgent do you have urgent work maybe um, you have important work and uh, there are works uh, there are activities uh, maybe those are not urgent but important maybe there are activities those are urgent but not important likewise okay so then uh, set to uh, priority priorities what are your priorities are they urgent or not urgent are they important or not urgent okay not important okay so then uh, so another activity to prioritize remember that you need to have clear picture what are you doing okay so then you can do prioritize um, relevant to your uh, activities for the, that activity also uh, if you can uh, list down uh, 10 or so all the activities you want to do uh, this is actually uh, depends on your time if you uh, prioritize your daily activities you need to you can get uh, previous activities as well so we what we have done in task 4 so you can list down all the activities then uh, you can divide you can get a piece of paper uh, likewise 
okay you can uh, you can get piece of paper then uh, here uh, you can divide you can get piece of paper and then uh, divide into four okay just uh, divide into four then you can prioritize likewise if you have four squares like like this okay uh, then you can prioritize your work like this way so as you can see this is we call uh, prioritization exercise uh, in order to do this you need to have your activities this we can do for a particular day or particular um, week or particular month or particular academic year okay so uh, you can first we'll uh, start with uh, we can prioritize a day activity okay particular day what are you going to do okay there when you uh, fill you need to have this uh, okay so urgent so first first square we call uh, first quadrant that is urgent and important so that's why i use here do okay that is you need to do you must do that urgent and important uh, then second square you, we, you can say not urgent but important so that then you can do planning you can plan this second square okay then uh, third one we call delegate urgent but not important you can delegate okay then uh, final one so activities those are not urgent and not important you can eliminate here so that is your fourth task uh, fourth square so likewise you can do prioritizing for a particular day okay uh, you can prioritize you can use same square for day daily basis or then you can uh, say week if you are, if you know all the activities you need to do the particular week you can prioritize that as well then uh, if you take one month what are the activities you want to do then uh, assume that you are planning one for particular uh, next yeah first yeah 2022 january january first month then maybe after you do this part exercise they may, there may be another activities uh in between uh, mid of january those are urgent so you can uh, put into this table uh, according to the prioritization uh, level if they are urgent and important you can uh, put into first square and that also if you use uh, if assume that you have different activities here urgent you have five activities and uh, not urgent and important activities you have four likewise in between this square also you can short short mean uh, prioritize what are the most urgent most important work likewise okay so you can actually you can plan your whole academic year as well so once you receive your activity diary after when you are registering you, you will receive your activity diary then you can plan your uh, academic year so in order to practice that you can uh, prioritize your day activity then you can move on to week month and academic year likewise so remember that uh, you need to do your urgent and important work first okay uh, then so this order you have to go clockwise from uh, one to Right. so this way okay so that is we call clockwise so do plan and eliminate sorry do plan here this way three and four okay so uh so i so this is a also activity uh, let me show again your lms because uh majority of students they ask about what are the activities how can i find those activity okay so again uh, time management zoom links available here and activities are so this is your just uh, so i also look as student you can see here uh, i i switch my role as a student 
then you can do this uh, first introduction quiz then uh, lessons and quizzes then uh, so here your pie chart activity then uh, your ribbon of life activity from uh, time management per session then time management quiz one then today you can do time management quiz two and uh, here you can see prioritization exercise so that is where yeah, you have to upload your uh, prioritization so you can click add submission and upload okay to, for this file submission you can upload your uh, prioritization exercise okay so you can upload here pdf or any any file here so image you can upload then uh, if i go back to activities i will show it quickly uh, yeah after prioritization so, exercise Sir, sir, can you show again where to upload? Yeah, here uh, I will show you. Uh, so, so previous from previous previous uh, time management first one, you know, uh, you, you have to upload uh, your own pie chart. Okay, so here uh, you have to you click add submission. Okay, so you have not made the submission yet. So I I also look as a student here. You can see then click add submission. Here you will see Dropbox. So maximum size is 5 MB. Okay. So I have given maximum number of five files actually. You don't need five files. One file is enough. You need to upload your pie chart here. Okay. Then uh, say similar to that, uh, that is your pie chart from uh, time management per session. Then uh, same, same to pie chart, you have to upload uh, your ribbon of life as well okay so here same thing you need to click at submission okay likewise you need to do uh, you need to do here uh, upload uh, time management first activities and second activities as well after today's session actually you can upload prioritization exercise and also create and upload your time plan so I, we will do that later uh, after prioritization exercise you can upload to this uh, file submission Dropbox. And, Thank you. Uh, okay. Then uh, those are the activities you want to do because I just show you uh, if I didn't have time to do uh, show you it. So those are the activities and uh, these presentations are available here. And uh, recordings I will upload. Uh, so last session, I think I already... Uh, usable record uh, record links are available here uh, from uh, previous so i will upload uh, this today's sessions as well uh, i need time to upload uh, your recordings so but there are uh, recordings available tm1 and tm2 sessions as well so let's go back to uh, our presentation okay so you can do prioritize your activities then uh, when you prioritize so remember one thing, keep in the balance between your activity. And, so keep in your balance with your life activities. Okay. So keep in balance your time in, you make, you can make your life happier. Okay. So you need your needs, your desires. So I'm not going to explain more on this slide. So according to that, you need to prioritize. Okay. Then uh, schedule. Actually, we need the schedule to do. Otherwise, we, you, will, you will miss some activities, important, uh, maybe urgent activities, you will miss. Yeah, that's why we need to keep schedule. Okay? Now you know what are you going to be, okay? your goals and objectives. Then, so after you set your goals and objectives, then how are you going to do that? So you, you need to have your own plan. Okay? So you need to manage your own time to create your own plan. To do your own plan in order to get set your goals and objectives okay so, so the work you have to do that that are your priorities okay so after plan you need to work you need to have you need to do your priorities and you need to make a schedule of your work so that's why uh, school time we had school timetable as you all know so we had the timetable so how, how are you going to schedule your work so your own work, okay? Remember that. So you you are the one who know your work, okay? 
so then you can use maybe timetable timeline to do list uh, google calendar or any other applications available today okay uh, you can it's up to you you can schedule your own time then now we are going to calculate your uh, how many hours do you want to spend okay do you want to allocate for your studies according to your uh, registered credits okay now you are doing start at your usual courses then you have to register for uh, your academic courses okay for particular academic year so let's say one example you all know uh, for one credit one credit of your uh, degree program that is if we take 50 hours is equal to one credit equal to 50 hours okay uh, then assume that a particular day you have only two hours for your studies maybe you are working working individual or maybe you have only two hours uh, for your studies then we'll get um, two hours if you have we assume that two, you have only two hours per particular day for your studies then uh, you can calculate you, uh, how many credits you can register for okay uh, now we are going to calculate if you have only two hours you, if you can spend only two hours per day for your studies uh, you, you can calculate how many credits you are you can register for okay uh, so you will now we have two hours assume that you have only two hours then uh, time available for week two hours into seven 14 hours okay then per month we have uh, four weeks per month then the, this value we need to multiple by here this value we need to multiple by four in order to get the available time available for month so we have four weeks and uh, so we multiple with 14 hours 14 into 4 56 okay then uh, for particular academic year we don't say 12 months okay so we say eight months actually uh, for particular academic year if it is eight months so time available for academic year total year total hours are uh, again we have to multiple that value previous value by eight so academic year normally we say eight months okay so 18 to 56 that is 448 hours so these are the total hours you need to allocate you have why only eight if why you eight have months, 448 why eight months sir? okay sorry uh, eight months in academic years we allocate uh, all the activities we don't allocate for a particular year it, it depends actually so let's if you pack uh, eight months uh, your day schools your course activities assignment and uh, final exam in between eight months so let's take uh, academic year as eight months okay then you have only 448 hours okay normally that is uh, it, it depends actually if you have a semester system okay if you have a semester system then uh, it may be uh, four months or five months okay so likewise then you can calculate for semester hours so let's take as academic year eight months then uh, uh, so the total values hours 448 then uh, if we divide this 448 by this 50 value so one credit equal 50 hours then you will get total credit you can register if you have only two hours per particular day okay so it's average eight to nine credits that is the minimum credits you know eight credit is the uh, credit, uh, you can register minimum credit value is eight uh, so here at least you need to spend two hours for your studies okay that's why we uh, calculate that one so if you have only two hours you can register for only eight to nine credits Okay, likewise and so i will show you one schedule from uh, previous uh, I, actually i get from this uh, course uh, don't think about this course title so course code i think you know now how you can uh, get the credit value so second digit 
So if it is EX34, 6, 7, so 4 is the credit value. Okay. So this is, these are the some uh, sample activities you have to do. Okay. Don't think about this course title. So I get from the software engineering courses, software engineering concept and programming. Okay. Then, uh, so those are the activities you have to do for particular year. As you can see, I start with uh, 7, 2019, then it end with 24 uh, April. So likewise, so imagine you have registered for a few courses as above in uh, this academic year, 21, 22 academic year, you are going to register. Assume that you are going to register and you need to prepare a schedule. Now you don't register actually, you are not registered yet. Uh, so you have to assume these are the, you, you go through your um, student guidebook, you can, if you are doing computer engineering or civil engineering, you can see first year compulsory courses. Okay. So maximum credits are 38 and uh, minimum credit is eight. So you can uh, list what are the courses you are going to register. Uh, especially you have to think about the credit hours uh, you can spend for. Okay. So then uh, I add one, uh, assume now you are going to register for all the, for, this is actually course list from uh, computer engineering. Okay. Uh, computer engineering courses. Uh, so these are uh, actually common to the, some other courses, especially uh, kind of uh, this course. EX3410 may be common to other uh, stream as well, maybe civil engineering, electronic, electrical, uh, mechanical, mechatronics, likewise. Okay. So assume that you are going to register for these courses. Okay. So if you calculate total credits for the course list from uh, here, mentioned here, uh, so we'll calculate that actually. So assume, just assume, okay. You, it's maybe if you are doing civil engineering, this course list may be changed, a difference, but don't think about course title and course code, just we need uh, course uh, credit value only. Okay. So uh, here, so you are last task actually, you need to create your own study plan, your time plan. Okay. So that is depends on your uh, cre uh, credit value you are going to register for. Okay. Uh, so imagine you have registered for about courses. So as I saw you earlier, let's take, let's get maximum credit. Okay. 21, 22 academic year and prepare a schedule for the academic activities. You must follow and prepare a study plan. So how do you prepare your study plan? So I, I again, uh, mentioned here, uh, your schedule. Think about here. We have, uh, these courses, course list. Those are the, uh, I think if you calculate from uh, this list, okay? So you will get um, credits value. You can say here, uh, if I get another color pen, yeah, this one. So you can see here, uh, we have first course, three, credit value, again, three, three, four, then again, four, DMX three, four, not one, then DMX three, three, not five, so I just uh, mentioned here credit value. Okay, second digit three percent credit value. So if you follow mass courses also, and AGM three two no three that is communication skills. So if you calculate all the values, as you can see uh, nine four uh, then twelve again yeah thirty eight. So maximum credit that is the uh, maximum credit value you can register for for a particular academic year. Okay, uh, then assume that you are registered. Uh, whether you are following a different field doesn't matter, but you are going to register for maximum credits. Okay, 38, 38 credits. Then uh, we'll calculate how many hours you, you have to spend for, for your particular day actually. Okay, let's calculate now if you have registered for maximum credit, then what is your um, hour rate? That means uh, how, how, how many hours you want to spend for particular day. Okay, so let's go. I think I hope I hope you understand this credit value. Okay, uh, it depends on your register credit values. Okay, so we'll start with maximum credit. Okay, so this is the third, 38 is the maximum credit for a particular academic year. Then uh, we know one credit equal 50 hours. Then you can multiple um, 38 credits 
by 50 here you can see uh, total hours for 1900 that is 1900 hours for if particular academic year you have eight months or nine months it depends actually so it will take as example eight months uh, then you have to divide this now you are going to find uh, if you register for maximum credit how many hours you are going to uh, how, how many hours you need to spend for okay so for for a particular day okay so then uh, we need to divide 1900 by 8 in order to get one month time required for one month so that is reverse calculation from previous okay then um, time required for a week you know uh, we have four week four weeks per particular month then we can divide this value by four then we will get time required for a particular week then we have seven days per week then we can calculate time required for a particular day so total 59 almost 59 hours if we divide by seven we will get this value so this is the hour uh, 8.4 eight and a half hours at least you need to spend for if you register 38 maximum credits so it depends you if you can allocate this time to register for your academic activities then you can complete your degree pro program within minimum years okay so then uh, this is 38 credits okay here i just calculated uh, for maximum credit so if you want to register half of that 19 credits imagine you are going to register for 19 credits then uh, this value should be half of this value okay that is 4.241 hours remember that you have a maximum credit uh, so you need to cover for your whole degree program uh, credit values so that you need to cover so if you register 19 credits that is the uh, four at least four hours you need to spend okay then uh, if you register for only 20 credits likewise you can do calculation at least four and a half at almost five hours you need to allocate for your study plan then uh, minimum credit that is already we have done the calculation eight to nine credits that is uh, at least almost two hours you need to allocate for your study plan okay with other activities as well so from uh, if you register eight hours eight credits so at least two hours you need to spend for your studies and uh, you need rest of rest 22 22 hours you need to allocate for other activities okay so likewise uh, if you register for 38 credits so at least eight or nine hours from 24 out of 24 you need to allocate for studies so nine hours remember that keep that in mind and when you set your a, a, a study out study plan study plan you need to set these values calculate this value according to your uh, allocated hours per particular day okay so then uh, after you have a study plan clearly then you need to act and achieve so always uh, act on the schedule which helps to follow your plan to achieve the achieve your goals and objectives with your prioritization your time management skills uh, you can achieve those things so then it depends on what are your goals and objectives uh, and your achievement okay uh, then i think now yeah we have another five minutes uh, so then when always when you are working with your academic plan study plan always check whether your achievements reflect your goals just you plan and do uh, without uh, reflecting that is not good actually you always you need to reflect always you need to check whether your achievements reflect your goals so that's why we always think uh, you will find this word later uh, we call uh, this critical self-analysis okay when you do any practical or anything any work anything uh, for your life you can apply this critical self-analysis you are analyzing analyzing yourself 
whether you are whether you know this assume that you are going to learn new thing then uh, critical self analysis you can do whether i know this theory whether i know this practical part uh, likewise uh, what are the drawbacks what are the uh, uh, improvement you need to do uh, likewise you can do analyze yourself think think about yourself do i know this actually if you don't know uh, you have you can search it or you can ask any other help likewise you call critical self analysis likewise you need to do when you set your plan goals and achieve through your um, prioritization activities then uh, you need to reflect all this okay so uh, here that is very important and uh, what are the other activities you can do to improve your time management time management actually you can improve using uh, even uh, 5s techniques if you uh, adapt to 5s techniques you will improve your time management time management skill all all thing you want to do rearrange so there are a lot of techniques as i, I today i told you prioritize you may know already these thing but you may, major thing you don't practice that's why that's why i'm always in telling i, I always tell you uh, your future is created by what you do today not tomorrow that's why okay so improve your time management skill so you are going to you need to manage everything not only your uh, studies you need to manage your family so friends and family so you have a lot of activities to do so you need to balance your life so after uh, today's session so that this is the last session of uh, your time management so you need to upload your time schedule including all the calculations remember that don't include my presentation calculation do it your own way and uh, time management quiz to also available you can upload time management quiz to as well okay uh, that is the end of actually time management uh, activity uh, you can keep uh, remain in this uh, this link uh, then uh, uh, cesar uh, sir will uh, give you introduction will do introduction session that is uh, so next session is collaborative learning first session where you do lot of collaborative activities uh, maybe you have to create your you will be assign uh, more breakout rooms so we will meet uh, again uh, yeah not actually from the time management module uh, so good luck everyone and uh, give you a full support for uh, collaborative learning module as well and please do these activities time management quiz too and uh, if you didn't do uh, tm1 activities please go through and do it uh, i can give you only one month actually please do quickly do activities those are not hard one very small one but you need to plan your uh, activities and upload so with that uh, i will hand over this session to uh, sisara sir uh, thank you everyone Hello everyone. Uh, very good morning to you. I hope you can hear me uh, loud and clear. Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. So let me share the screen first, right? Where am 
my Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh. Right, uh, so this is uh, about the collaborative learning module one. Uh, so before we move forward, so let me quickly show you the, show you a LMS, right? Uh, so I think you all are familiar with this uh, LMS up to now because as we have done uh, many uh, activities in this uh, LMS, right? Sites, right? Okay, uh, so let me go the time management, not the time management one, the collaborative learning module, right? So where are these? Actually, I have enabled it in the morning. So let me check. <coughs> So once you go to your LMS, so under this taskbar, there is a tab called collaborative learning. So once you click on that, so it will open uh, some interface here, just like that. And there you can see the objectives and learning outcomes and about the teacher self-introduction. That's me uh, for this module. All right, so I'll go through each and every uh, of these topics later, right? And uh, so you can really have a look on these uh, things. Okay, right. And uh, so under that, there is a separate uh, tab called uh, how is your peer learning experience so far, right? So, so in here, you need to mention your learning experience. We'll come to that later. Uh, so let me share the presentation with you. Okay, right. That's a quick introduction to your LMS. Slideshow, yes. I hope you can see the screen now. Can you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Right, okay, that's great. Right, okay, so we are going to start the collaborative learning uh, module for the group two students. And my name is Isara Pereira and I'm a lecturer at, at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Right, so I'll be the module coordinator for this uh, module, collaborative learning, right. Okay, guys, let's move forward. Right, so, <laughs> so let me ask a question from you. So what is the first impression that you get once you see on this uh, picture? Can you see that? So if you don't uh, like or wish to talk, you can uh, simply send your messages to the chat box so that I can read, right? So I think there are many in the chat box. Uh, okay, right. Ah, yes. So give me same group working. Yes, Jennifer, group work. Yes. Yes. That's true. Group working. Group working, right. Uh, so how this group working sounds to you guys? So is it a collaborative uh, work? So as you think, how that sounds to you? So this is all about that we are going to uh, discuss today, right? Yes, someone, uh, yes, Sha Shamala, I think. Shamala is saying that that's a teamwork. Yes, yes, Shamala, true. Group work, that's also true, correct? Right? Okay, uh, okay, guys, let's move forward and uh, see whether your answers are correct, right? Okay. This is actually teamwork, yes. So let me, yes. Right, so under this module, so there are several objectives and uh, you can see, as you can see, right? Uh, so in this module, we are going to uh, recognize the importance of collaborative learning in open and distance learning. And um, at the same time, we are going to identify the different collaborative learning techniques uh, that can be used effectively for your studies. And at the same time, we are going to organize and plan group learning. So I think you have, uh, uh, you are going to cover these aspects in note making and many other modules, 
So we'll see, right? And you're going to identify the roles and responsibilities of group members. Since this is highly uh, depends on the teamwork, like you said, the, uh, collab uh, the group work thing, right? And uh, these things are there are new elements. You can really have a look. I'm not going to uh, explain all these things in depth, right? Okay. Right. There is a question. Right. Collaborative learning versus peer learning. So uh, I want to know, so what is the different difference between the collaborative learning and the peer learning? So as you think, so what would be the answer? So is there any uh, difference or is does, does that similar to each other? So what do you think, guys? Collaborative learning and peer learning. What I think is collaborative learning is uh, with more than one person and peer learning, I think it's with one person. Is that correct, sir? Uh, yes, exactly. Right. So are there any suggestions other than that? So that's a different uh, perspective. That's good. Uh, may I ask who is that? Uh, sorry, I missed that. My name, uh, missed your name. My name is Ram. My name is Ahmed. Sir. Ahmed. Ahmed, yes, great, great. Ahmed. That's true. Yes. So, are there any suggestions? So, what do you think? Does that similar uh, or? Come on, guys, you need to talk because we are studying the collaborative learning, right? Yes. Yes, someone is there in the chat. Uh, the peer learning is individual learning, yes. Mahela, yes. Okay. And what do you think about the collaborative learning? Okay. So since the time is running up, uh, I will move forward to the answer. Towards, yes, uh, someone is there in the chat as well. Uh, yes. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. With Kramarachi, collaborative learning is an educational approach. Yes. Uh, teaching and learning that involves that's the definition right uh, that's good yeah team learn someone is saying team learn okay so we'll see uh, what is the difference right so when it comes to collaborative learning so students uh, learn alongside one another uh, when it comes to peer learning students learn from one another so that is the basic definition of the collaborative learning and peer learning Actually, there are other definitions for peer learning. So we, we are going to have a look, right, later. Uh, OK, what else? Yes, better to share ideas. That's good, right? OK. So this is the simplest way of uh, expressing the collaborative learning and the peer learning, right? OK. Next question. Who are peers? As you think, who are peers? So what do you think? Who are peers? Yes. Same age friends? Yes, exactly. Ashan, you are correct? Yes. Students, someone is saying that. So one can say the peer learners, the peer, uh, peer learners, Peer same age course. students. Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, same same age yeah, same students. Age, same age students. Yes, that's correct. Peers are uh, in so in other words, we can say peers are fellow learners, right? So we'll see the definition of peers. Uh, people from similar status who are not professional teachers, right? So keep that in mind. So helping each other to learn and learning themselves by teaching. So that is the definition of peers, right? So, uh, so at the same time, peers do not have power over each other by virtue of their position or responsibilities. So in simply, the peers are fellow learners, right? Your answers are correct, right? Uh, yes, uh, Hamdi is saying that similar interest, age, background, or social status, that's also correct, Hamdi, right? Okay, so we can move forward. Yes, uh, so with that, we are moving to a activity right so under this module there are many interactive activities as well as uh, 
uh, there are other activities uh, so you can uh, uh, what you can do at your own as a uh, and at the same time you can do it as a team right okay so this is the activity so there is a uh, youtube video right so what you need to do is you need to watch this video and you need to discuss among groups this is not an individual activity keep that in mind right once again i'm saying this is not an individual task you need to do this activity as a group right right so what you need to do is this first you need to watch this video and so you need to identify so what is peer learning right so there are two contents to identify what is peer learning and the importance or the benefits uh, what sort of benefits can be achieved through peer learning process importance and benefits and of peer learning and uh, and uh, what is peer learning refers to right so i will uh, let me uh, share this uh, link to the chat box actually it is also available in your lms as well right so did you get the uh, link right i hope so please do copy copy it right now uh, i am going to break you into uh, breakout rooms right since there are 160 uh, participants so i will put you into 16 uh, random breakout rooms how that sounds to you so that uh, you can share your ideas your thoughts uh, among uh, peers right your peers and at the same time you you will have an opportunity to uh, what associate your colleagues right and you can have a simple chat right so this is not for the evaluation but uh, so this is a friendly talk right so amiable talk okay uh let me uh break out you into uh, let me break you into breakout rooms uh, so is the facility so let me quickly check that right so i'm going to uh, stop share for a moment right yes breakout room option is there i'm going to create uh 16 groups sorry 16 and this is a random right okay right i'm going to open all rooms right uh, so after 15 minutes time right so you have five minutes to uh, watch the video and 10 minutes to discuss right okay so did you get that any questions so we'll have a look later right okay so i'm going to open all the rooms guys okay so we'll see you in uh, 15 minutes time So well, I think I'm in the room number nine. So someone is asking for help. That's why I came. So who was that? Uh, are you there? Yes. So I think uh, you can hear me. Yes, Lakshan is room five asked for help. So I have to leave for room number and we'll come to your room right okay so keep on discussing guys so your activity is that watch the youtube video and uh, share your thoughts okay
Yes, I think I'm in the room number five, breakout room number five. Uh, someone is asking for help. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hi there. Yes, we can hear. Yes. That's, a dish. That's great spirit. Uh, so, so do you have any questions regarding the activity that I have just given to you? Okay. What you need to do is this: you need first you need to uh, watch the video. So either one individually or as a group, and you need to discuss among your peer members. So if your peer members are Manoji, Oindia, Yasiru, uh, Hiroshima, am I correct? I don't know. I'm sorry. So if I misspelled your name, Lakshan and SJ. Uh, who is that? Kasu and Tushar. Yes. And myself is also here. I'm not... Uh, Rajit, right, but I'm uh, talking through his interface. That's why his uh, picture appears to you. Right, the, uh, never mind. Okay, right. You can uh, start, guys. So I'm going to other breakout rooms as well. You can uh, talk to your colleagues, to your peers, and you can discuss the answers, right? So we'll see, good luck. Hello there, I'm back. Yes, uh, Kirti Ratna was asking for help. Uh, so what is that Kirti Ratna? Uh, Netmini Muri Ashan is there. So I think, I think I'm audible to you guys. So what you need to do is you need to watch, uh, watch the video first and you need to discuss among your peer members uh, what are the possible answers for the question that I have just asked, okay? Is the question clear? So you need to identify the importance of peer learning. And uh, so what sort of benefits can be achieved through this peer learning process? Okay. Hello there. I'm, a, I'm I think I'm at the breakout room number 11. Pranavan is there, Sah Sahi Sahani, Chamat, Dasun, Himansa. Can you guys hear me? And Haridu is also there. Okay. So please do watch the video first and then discuss among the peers. Okay? All right.
Hello guys. Uh, so have you watched the video? Desh, are you there? Yes, Siru. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, someone is asking to share the uh, link again. Okay. Sure, Manoj, right? So Manoj, this is the link. So I will share the link to all the other participants as well. Come on, guys, you need to talk. This is not an individual activity, right? I'm not going to eavesdrop your discussions. So I left the room once you're going to, once you are going to start the discussion, right? Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, in, oh, in there. Oh, in there. Oh, in there. I there. You can start. Or else, Udesh, Kasun. Uh, who is that? Kasun. No. Lakshan. Mm, okay, right. Time is running up, guys. Uh, so I'm going to close the breakout rooms after eight minutes. Hello, Tushar. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, we have to discuss this one, no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, discuss, you mean, what is there to discuss? So, <laughs> what is, do we have to answer that what is a prayer, peer group or something? Yeah, this one. Okay, uh, let me give you a little hint, guys. So you need to discuss what is uh, what is the importance of peer learning, and uh, so what sort of benefits can be achieved through this peer learning process. So that is the basic uh, idea that you need to have. Right. Clear? Um, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So the uh, So who are the sleeping fellas? <laughs> How did you get there? Come on, did you? Paruna, are you there? Taranga, who is Aruna Shant? Aruna Shant, Tanushika. 
come on guys you need to talk this is not an individual activity so this is a group activity right so by the way have you watched the video video ke baluwa do bolo yes sir yes sir. right what you need to do is this so you need to identify uh, so what is the importance of peer learning and uh, so what sort of benefits can be achieved through this peer learning process that's what i am what i'm asking right okay okay we'll see keep on discussing guys i am going to the other Hello. Hello. Can somebody talk? Yes, Sanun, I'm here. Uh, so how about the others? Vihangi, Chirani, Medani. What a unique name you guys have. Right. Beautiful, right? Uh, come on, you need to talk, guys. Only Sanun is speaking. You need to uh, speak among your peers, the fellow members. Okay. Keep on talking. Talking. Yeah, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. എത്ര ഹരി
So, well, I think, uh, so we are back to the main session. Right, okay. So, the progress, guys. I think still uh, others are joining. So, we'll wait for another one minute. So, in the meantime, let me share the screen. Yes. So how was the activity? You did it really well, isn't it? On the time of Kalani, I got you. No, sir. I'm not going to hear in the video. Okay, I'm going to hear Okay, okay, okay. Right, so we'll discuss that, right? Okay. Right. Uh, so your activity was this, right? You need to watch this video and you need to discuss what is what is the concept of peer learning and the importance of peer learning process, right? Okay. So we'll move quickly move to the answers. So the peer peer learning is this. The peer learning refers to students learning with and from each other as fellow learners. So like you said earlier, right? Uh, with any implied authority to an without any implied authority to an individual so that is the uh, basic definition of peer learning okay and uh, so there are many important aspects of peer learning so and which are being used in a variety of contexts and disciplines nowadays so these are the benefits uh, of peer learning in other words uh, you can achieve these benefits out of peer learning. Okay, we'll see the first one, the develop skills in organize, organizing and planning learning activities, right? You can develop your soft skills. So while, log, uh, while uh, learning. Okay. And the second one is working collaboratively with others and sharing knowledge. Knowledge sharing is a must in peer learning giving and receiving feedback. So through, through that, you can uh, correct your but, uh, the errors. So if there are the errors, you can correct those. An opportunity to evaluate their own learning. You can uh, comment on others' learning. And uh, next one is while the, uh, the emphasis is on the learning process, you may offer emotional support to fellow students, right? So uh, the other one is the self-motivation. So these are the benefits uh, that can be obtained through this peer learning process, right? Okay, so were you being able to identify those? Right, doesn't matter. Right, uh, once again, have a look at the video leisurely and uh, try to find those, right? The benefits of peer learning. So I'm quickly moving to the next content, content, uh, content since the time is running out. Uh, and the importance of peer learning. This is the importance of peer learning. Through the peer learning, uh, you move beyond the independent learning to interdependent learning. So we usually call it as the mutual learning, right? So did you get the idea? So I hope so, right? Uh, so you are, you are moving from independent to interdependent learning. And this is another uh, definition for peer learning, right? Peer group learning. Uh, a group of students with common goals and expectations with heterogeneous skills. Heterogeneous means uh, multi skills, right? Multitasking supporting mutually, encouraging and assisting each other for completing course requirements, right? This is another definition uh, for peer group learning. Okay, right. So what is the interdependent? Uh, interdependent means here. Uh, so interdependent means you are not depending on, uh, on your own. So that means, uh, so you are discussing 
among your peers and obtaining their ideas and uh, so it's not like an in, in, you are not an independent learner right you respect others thoughts and uh, self motivation is there so likewise you can obtain uh, uh, more benefits out of peer learning so we call that as an interdependent so in simply it's a mutual learning Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay. Uh, so I think you. Uh, yes. Yes. So this uh, this is where we were, and uh, these are some forms of peer learning. So students. Uh, so in the previous. Yes. Yes. So in the previous. The Pink color word I couldn't understand. What is that? Heterogeneous skills. Heterogeneous means uh, multitasking skills, right? Heterogeneous. So that's the uh, word that we are referring to uh, the multitasking. So okay, sir, thank uh, you. Yeah, okay. It's a uh, generic word, right? Okay. And uh, so these are some forms of peer learning students are uh, following same courses from partnerships to assist each other. So it course content. And uh, so this is a uh, highly uh, useful in collaborative projects and lab works and private study groups are the examples for peer group, group learning. And here are the responsibilities of peer group learning members. Keep that in mind, these responsibilities should have to be there so among each and every one of you your peer learning members right uh, first one is prepare before study team meetings that is a must so unless you prepare it won't be an effective meeting right and complete assigned task attend all meetings on time uh, participate and contribute actively help each other keep connected right so those are the uh, some of the responsibilities of peer group learning members. Okay, right. So I think uh, you are fed up uh, with the not with the content, but uh, with the time, right? Not all, every one of you, but some may, right? It's kind of a tedious work, right? Am I correct? Okay. Uh, so we will do some. On a, some another activity so that's a really fun activity interactive one right i'm going to give you a interactive activity so i named this activity as interactive peer activity the eye test right okay so okay so the activity goes on this uh, so there are two pictures picture one comes first right and there are three hidden creatures in the first picture, okay? So if you are a super genius, you can find all of them. So you need to do this activity as a group, uh, not on individual basis, right? And try to, uh, yeah, so you can uh, post your answers. They are in the submitting responses to the learning activities in the LMS as well, let, that's later on, uh, later on that you can do, right, okay. So I'm going to show you the first picture now. So it is also there in your LMS, or else you can uh, take a uh, snapshot. You can take a snapshot of this picture, right? Are you ready? Guys, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So let me show you the picture, first, right? Then I'm going to uh, break you into uh, 16 breakout rooms. Sorry, 14, 15 break, break, breakout rooms on random basis, right? Okay, so this is the first picture, guys. Have a look. Can you see that? Take a picture if you want. So there are three hidden creatures. There are more than three hidden creatures, but don't say the answers now, right? I'm just showing you the picture. You need to discuss your findings among your group members, right? So this is the first picture. Take a sna snapshot or else you can have a look 
on this picture in your LMS. So it is there under the eye test. Okay. Is the time enough for you to take a snapshot? Right. I'm going to show you the next picture. So this is the first one. So what is the uh, things that you are going to find in this picture? So this, this is the activity, right? Uh, so there are three hidden creatures in this picture. So you need to find all of them as a group, right? So this is the picture. Here you can see uh, a family is uh, working towards some sort of a common goal, right? I think they are making a kennel for their pet dog. Okay, right. And the next activity is this, the activity, activity two, the critical thinking. So here you can see three ladies. Uh, so they are carrying an infant, right? Someone has kidnapped an infant. So you are going to uh, find who has kidnapped the infant, right? Okay. Clear? So in this picture, uh, there is a kidnapper, right? You need to find her as a group, right? Okay. Take a snapshot once again. And also it is there in the LMS if you want. So if that convenient for you, so you can simply log into your LMS and you can download that. Right, okay. Now I'm going to break you into breakout rooms and, and I'm going to stop share, right? Uh, okay, so I think time is enough for you to take a snapshot, right? So, so are my questions clear? So in the first activity, what you need to do is you need to find the three hidden creatures in this picture. And in this activity, you are going to find who is the culprit, right? And culprit means uh, the kidnapper. Okay. I hope you will enjoy this activity, right? Okay. And you need to uh, justify your answer, guys, right? So here, you need to justify your answer. Say this. Ladies A, B, C. The middle one is B, and middle one is the pants B, and the last one is C. Okay. Right. I'm going to stop sharing and break you into rooms. Yes. I think the separate rooms are there. So I'm going to open all the rooms, right? Okay. There are 16 rooms. I'm going to, uh, okay, I'll recreate the rooms once again. How many of you are there? Let's see, 15 breakout rooms.
Yes, I think I'm in the room number three. Uh, so here we have Nachma, Gitmi, Netmi, Dasuni. Okay, guys, you need to talk. Otherwise, this uh, session won't be an effective one, right? Okay, come on, discuss among peers. Not with me, but among your peers. And try to find the answers. So this is a fun activity, interactive one. Okay. Now, the first photo, I can see the two creatures, the human and the dog. I can't see any, any more creatures there. The second picture, I think, uh, the first lady, the lady right in front, uh, she's the kidnapper because her eye movement is different to the other two. Other two uh, stand firm and they... Hello there. Someone is asking for help. So I just came to your room. I think I'm in the room number seven. Ashan, we have Ashini Ahinsa. Ahinsa, right. Okay. Can you hear me, guys? So I don't you talk. Yes, sir. Yes, good. Good. Uh, Ashan, you need to talk uh, among your peers, among your fellow members, friends. Right, and uh, you need to find the answers. So what are the hidden creatures in the first picture? And who was the culprit in the second? Okay, right. Okay, all the best guys. Yes, uh, Raja Paksha. Dog is also a creature, right? <laughs> uh, so, at the, except the dog, you need to find the hidden creatures. So, there are many, I think. So, you are, you are young, your eyesight is better than mine, I think. You can find many. Ah, oh, yes. Krishani. Uh, so maybe from the another group, she has found the one. Wandana, Malshani, right? Wandana, yes. Yes, yes, your answer is correct. Mandana, Wandana. Come on, you need to uh, talk. You need to express your findings to your fellow members. So otherwise, uh, they will be in trouble. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Good luck to you guys. So, so we'll see you in the main session. So I'm going to the other breakout rooms, right? Eight
Rush me. Keyboard tak kau gitu. Ia semua tegar itu. So what are the findings in your groups? Mana dogel loh? Kau agak creatures lah kau agak tu. Yes sir. Okay good. What are those? Okay, okay, you can discuss, guys. Hello there, Hamdi, Aisha. Will you be able to find the hidden creatures and the culprit? So, what was your answer, buddy? What is your answer, guys? Okay, so we'll discuss in the main session, right? There is a Hamdi. Yes, there is a bit. There is a bat and bat, yes. duck and butterfly. Bat, duck and butterfly. Okay, good. And the culprit? Second one. Second one. So why do yes. you think like that? Uh, second one is the word. For, uh, wait, I find the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to justify your answer. If you are saying the second one is the culprit, you need to justify. Justify means you need to give proper reasons for your findings. Okay? Right. Okay. Okay. That's a great mm -hmm. attempt. Yeah. Good. So, no, I don't know the correct word. That. Uh, what, is, what is that? The word you are asking? Tama uh, without the... Yeah. The uh, means uh, blood. Oh. Tamdam the kidneys. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter. Hamdi. Yeah. Yo. So your attempt is good, right? Uh. Yes. Pati Ranagay is saying that the culprit is A. But Hamdi is saying that the culprit is middle one, right? Uh, yeah, I thought that the, the child is walking behind the go-kart, that's why I thought. Ah, right, right. Yeah, that's a really good observation, uh, uh, Patiran, right? Okay. Patiran, what is, why, what is your first name? Uh, Dinuja. Dinuja, okay, Dinuja. Right. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Uh, Close the breakout room since we are running out of time, guys. We'll see you at the main session, right? Okay.
yeah, I think, uh, so we are back to the main session, right. So how was the activity? Have you enjoyed it? So the three, three creatures, including the human and the dog or without the human and the dog? Uh, without the human and the dog. Those are visible creatures, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, you need to find the hidden creatures. They are, they are no creatures. No creatures, oh my God, we'll see. <laughs> I saw a snake, I saw a snake, cat and a butterfly. Right, okay. Uh, we'll see. Uh, butterfly, right? Yes, butterfly. Oh, I, saw a snake, I saw a snake, cat and a butterfly. Snake, oh my God. We have a snake. <laughs> we'll see. Right, uh, so I can see there is a bat. Can you see that bat here? There is a bat in the middle. Hmm. Right? Check whether your answers are correct. And what else? Ah, there is a snake right here. Right over here. Here. Snake. Yes. Am I correct? So let me take a different color uh, pointer. Uh, yeah. And what else? Butterfly. Butterfly. Where is the butterfly? I can hardly see a butterfly. Where is ah here, right? A tea, tea, tea in the tree. Yes, 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 you are correct. That's a great observation. Right. So even I couldn't identify that. Uh, what else? And there's a duck here, right? Here. There are more than three cre hidden creatures here. There is a duck in between the, uh, the legs of the dog and there's a hammer in between the legs and the hammer. Can you see that there is a duck? Yes. And uh, so other than that, what else? Here, uh, here there is a snail, right? Some sort of, some kind of a snail in here. Snail, snail mail, <laughs> snail <laughs> here. Okay, right. There are five, uh, more than three, yeah. Yeah, that's a great observation, guys. So I think uh, you have found all these creatures. That's good, right? And someone is there in the chat as well. There's a duck back, yeah. So we have identified that, Rajita, thank you. And Jennifer, butterfly, bat, duck, yes, good. Okay, uh, shall we move to the next one quickly? Yes, this, this was done and Okay, we are going to find the culprit. So, the first picture. The first picture, first lady. The reason, no. the, eye, the eye contact. Eye contact. Uh, why are you saying like that? The eye contact means uh, she's. Because she's not, she's uh, looking from the corners of her eye and the child is uh, not conscious. Okay. Uh, child is not conscious. Okay, right. And her walk is also not stable. Mm -hmm. So, which uh, to which lady are you referring? Shortly, to stated, shortly stated, the body language, the first one. The first one, okay. right? The first one is uh, blue frog, right? No, and, no, no. The red frog. I, the red, red, red purple top. Okay, right, right. Red is good. Okay, right. No, they are first one. The child. Okay. Uh, so, the second one is the sometimes perfect kidnapper because he acting well and without the breath of the children. Second one is a killer, not a kidnapper. So, second one is a killer, right? Okay, right. <laughs> That's good. That's a good observation. So, why are you saying like that? Uh, sorry, I missed your name. Uh, whoever. First, in first picture, first, in first picture, he has, the, she has a uh, can. Uh, she hold, she in hold hand, a bottle in her hand. Uh, in her hand, yes, she hold a bottle. She hold a bottle. Okay, 
ഫോം <laughs> she's trying to act normal and she has her fed uh, uh, head straight and she's trying her best to keep her eyes wide open and she looks attractive mm-hmm. uh, and uh, the other two children can be seen uh, okay. like you know, normally if, if, yeah so if the the real parents uh, see these kids uh, definitely they they can identify right so yeah. uh, they are not they're not trying to disguise even these children so uh, Uh, like you know uh, i think it is a second one there are so many clues to uh, think that she is the one because okay. the child is not seen and she looks attractive yes and she is ready for a run and she is wearing jeans okay if she want to run she can run over <laughs> okay uh, shan and also she is wearing a yoga mat also so in the scarlet you can see uh, scarlet there is a you call that uh, blood stain right yeah okay right that's a really good observation okay right uh, so so other than that uh, are there any different answers so some are saying that the middle one is the culprit and the left uh, the the lady with the blue frock someone is saying that she is the culprit and uh, the other the majority i think majority is saying that the lady with the red Uh, what do you call that skirt right i'm not would be ladies there oh, is that thing. skirt right okay uh she is the culprit blue frock is policeman's wife oh my god how do you say like that ashan <laughs> ah, yes with so it's because of the handcuffs right okay <laughs> yeah that's a really good observation and ikramarat is confused umesh is saying b b is the middle i think right okay Right, right. That's good. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope C. Okay. Right. Uh, since uh, the time is running out, shall we move forward then? Uh, so no, sir. We need the answer, sir. What is the answer? Yes, the answer. Right. You are asking from me, right? Ah, uh, right. So my answer is is this: appearances are of, often deceptive, right? Do you agree with me or not? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that is the uh, idea that you need to have. So, uh, so I will say my answer. So in the next session, so once we meet, uh, in I think uh, for the CL two module, right? Okay. So I'm not going to express my thought today, thoughts and my views, right? Okay. Uh, so what you can do is you can post your answers. in the lms so there is a separate tab so you can post your findings so with the proper justifications and okay so i'll so can you know the source can, can i know the answer later <laughs> okay right can i know the source of this activity sir From sorry where did you, what is the source of this activity the uh, photo so, so yeah. actually okay. i got this picture uh, from the internet so there, there is a uh, I cannot remember the exact site, uh, but so if you want, I can uh, give it to you. Uh, so there is a detective forum, uh, interactive detective forum is there, right? So if you okay. just Google it, uh, the detective okay. activities, uh, interactive detective activities, so it will automatically come these sort of stuff, right? So, so you are telling that if I go to that site, I can get the answer. No, I don't have to wait till the next session. uh yeah so if you want you can just google it and 
find the answer with proper justifications, but there are many answers, right? <laughs> so like you said, uh, so there are many uh, convincing ways of uh or giving the answers right okay uh so this is the outcome of this activity right that you can get uh, the appearances out and often deceptive uh so keep that in mind guys so with that we are going to wind up today's session and thank you very much for your active participation and i hope you have enjoyed the session so we'll see you in the next day right so if you have any queries you can ask before you we wind up the session right i hope you have enjoyed the activities especially the last one yes sir. okay right thank you very much yes so if you don't have any other questions we can wind up the session uh, so i'll i'll make uh, it available the source that i have taken that picture right to the lms so that you can have a look Right. Okay. okay, thank you very much. And I wish you all a nice day. So we'll see you at the next session. Right? Thank you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Wind up the session. Thank you, no. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Guys, stay safe.